Hello. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a plan with per unit pricing. A per unit pricing model allows you to configure plans based on the number of units purchased or rented. For example, you are managing a library where you charge your customers on per unit basis. The cost of renting a book is $5. Your customers will be charged only for the number of books they want to borrow. If you have a recurring plan, then your customers will be charged for the same quantity until the end of their billing cycle. So, if you have created a monthly plan with the billing cycle as 12 months and your customer subscribes for a quantity of 2 books per month, then, they will be charged $10 every month until the end of this cycle. Let us now see how to do this, click Product Catalog Plans and then Create Plans. Enter the plan name. The plan ID and the invoice name will be autofilled as you type the plan name, but you can also edit these fields. The plan ID will be used as a reference for this plan. The invoice name will be used in all the customer facing documents such as invoice, credit note, quote, and so on. Enter a description for the plan, this is displayed during checkout and in the customer portal. Enable this checkbox if taxes are applicable for this plan, this will be displayed only if you have configured taxes. Select the billing frequency, you can choose to create daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly plans, enter the number of cycles. In case you leave this field empty your customers will be charged until their subscription is manually cancelled. Select the pricing model as per unit, choose the currency and enter the price. If you'd like to offer free units, mention the quantity of the units that you'd like to offer as free. Customers purchasing above the free quantity will only be charged. In case your plan has a setup cost, enter the price of the setup cost. This is a one-time charge that will be applied on the customer's first invoice after subscribing to this plan. Enter the trial period for the plan, you can configure trials only in days or months, your customers will be charged as per the plan after the trial expires, if you do not want to offer a trial, leave this field empty. If you sell products that needs to be shipped, select product as shippable. Enter the time frame for the products to be shipped. Select Display in Customer Portal to allow your customers to switch to this plan using the Change Subscription option in their self-serve portal. Enable this option if you are using Checkout via drop-in script. Enter the redirect URL for the plan. On completing checkout, your customers will be redirected to this URL. Please note that the URL you mention here must be whitelisted in your site. Click Save. Here is how this plan will look during checkout. You can customize the quantity of the units by adding JSON metadata to the plan. To do this, you first need to enable the quantity based meta configuration setting under checkout. Let us now see how to do this. Click Settings, Configure Charge B, Checkout and Self Serve Portal. Enable the customize plan or add-on quantity based on meta configuration setting. Publish the changes. We are going to now add a metadata to set up quantity based increments. To do this, click add. 
Here we are going to add a sample JSON metadata with the minimum value as 10 and the maximum value as 100, the interval between each step is 10. This is how the quantity would show up during checkout. You can similarly add any JSON metadata to customize the quantity. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can write to support at chargebee.com or check out the need help section in the app.